So we are here at the offices of Tata Play in Delhi. Uh, why uh, this is important is because they have operationalized their first demand-driven satellite. So Tata Play last year had set out the GSAT 24 in accordance with the NSIL and ISRO. And today that satellite stands operational uh, this would take uh, tata place capacity from about 600 channels to about 900 channels uh, this is a very unique concept uh, that has been launched by nsil isro and uh, tata play basically paid for the capacity that was already uh, that was already in demand by uh, the nsil and it was now about a year later it has now been operationalized so some seven eight years ago during uh, during the reforms, what really happened was that uh, we were asked what is your capacity requirement and what can we make a dedicated satellite for your orbit and for your orbit for your orbit India. Ke liye. So we asked for that. The satellite was launched last year. It has taken us one year to test it, check it out. Yesterday, the testing process and everything got completed. And today is the official launch of the satellite, uh, the third satellite. We also spoke to Mr. Radhakrishnan Durairaj, who is the chairman and uh, managing director of the New Space India Limited, which is ISRO's commercial arm, to understand what a demand-driven satellite means and what it means for NSIL's revenues going ahead. The concept that uh, has come now after we were created New Space India Limited, which is a commercial arm of ISRO, uh, we have been asked to undertake the mission on a demand driven. That means you need to know if you, somebody builds a satellite, you need to know who is the customer who is going to take the capacity. So we are not going to just build the satellite and launch it without and then look for the customer. No. So we basically anchor the customer. Company revenue when it started in 2019-20, we had 350 crores as a revenue. And in just three, about three years now, I think just last this year, we are targeting around 3,000 crores revenue.